Hello everyone, it's Ruby here, and two years ago, I did these things called uh, video diaries. Basically, where I kind of just used that to kind of talk about my feelings, about like where I was at mentally, where the goals that I had, and I wanted to do kind of like a follow-up. Um, and now we're going to talk about what I want to do right now, because I have had thoughts and a lot of my ambitions have kind of not really changed, but have more so become more clear to me, or at least realistically about what I want to do. Because for those of you who don't know, I am... 23, almost 24. Okay. So I am an adult. <laughs> and I want to sort of start doing adult things. I have a job. Okay. That's step one. I have a job. And I have a sort of plan. Um, but it's a long road to get there. And I don't know. I feel like saying it out loud is a lot better. This is not like stuff, I'm not going to talk about things that are like from a therapist. I don't have a therapist, but you know, whatever. Anyways, um, okay. I want to talk about kind of my more recent thoughts, actually, of what I want to do. So for those of you who don't know, I am like halfway, about halfway through my MBA. Actually, I'm pretty close to finishing it up. I think based on as long as I do well in these like classes, I have like what eight credits. Wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I have like four classes left. Because I'm gonna take there's it, semester. It's not really a semester. It's more like a quarter. I don't know. Basically, the program is kind of split into quarters. There's like fall one, which I've done. Fall two. Spring one, which I'm half past, and spring two, which I'm currently doing, and then I have summer one and summer two, and by the end of that. I think I should be done. So I'm basically taking two, gonna take two classes in the summer. Well, in the beginning of the summer, and then two classes in the end of the summer. And then I'll be wrapped up with my MBA. Okay, backing it up. I'm doing like accelerated MBA. I started this in. Um, I started it in 2023, like fall, like August, August 2023, I would say. Actually, probably more like October 2023. Anyways, um, so I started that, and then now I'm almost done with it. It's supposed to be like a year, basically. Well, depending on the pace you go. But for me, I want to get it done basically as fast as possible. I want it done and over with. My logic being like... Um, my logic being that if I do it now, I don't have to go back and do it later because I did think, I did think, what if I do a gap year? What if I go back and do the MBA? Cause that was the original plan. When I thought about doing the MBA, I was like, okay, I'll take one year off and then I'll go back and do it. And then I thought like, why would I do that to myself? I know I'm going to get out of the student mentality and I am going to end up being too, 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 um, out of the zone. Like if I do everything now, I don't have to go back. I don't have to think about it anymore. So once I'm done with this, once I hit like August, September, whatever, whatever actually ends up being the end point, probably September. Um, then I'll be ready to do whatever I want. And I'll have all the free time to do whatever I want. And that to me is important. Because 
I just want to be done with anything school related, okay? And then move on to my career, my job, my ambitions, what I want to do. In terms of what I want to do for my job, that has... Let me tell you guys a story. And the story is really that when I was like 15, when I started doing all of this, I was like, I'm going to do this and become a full-time creative. Um, that's not really sustainable. So, but what I was thinking like along the way was like, okay, what I really want to do is get into the gaming industry. How do I do that? Okay, so I'm going to learn how to computer program. So I go take some classes, sort of, and I get into college. My co- my college decision was actually based on um, <laughs> my college decision was based on the programs because basically, okay, I was accepted into all of the colleges that I applied to about six or seven colleges I mean to be fair I didn't go to for like Harvard or anything like that I chose school specifically knowing that these would be like my choices in state only public schools only <laughs> um actually I could probably just tell you guys the list because I'm 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 out I'm out of that area and I'm probably gonna be moving soon well okay no We'll get back. To, we'll get back to that. I should not say anything. Okay. Roll it back. Okay. Look. The schools that I applied to. Uh, VCU. Um, did I even get married to Kate Dupin? I wait. Did I apply to Kate Dupin? I don't know if I did. No, I chose. I chose not. No, it was. What did I do? I did GMU. I did George Mason, for sure. I did Christopher Newport. I did James Madison. VCU. Mary Washington. I think it was Longwood. No, it was. It was Longwood. Yes, it was. I did apply to Longwood. Actually, it was kind of funny. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, now, yeah. And then I think... I don't think I applied to William Mary. Maybe I did. I think it was a William. I don't know where... Maybe the six schools. I don't know. I know what I think I knew already. I didn't want to go to William Mary. Anyways, I knew. Okay, right away I knew I didn't want to go. I, was, I didn't want to go to VCU. I already knew that because um, I hated the campus. <laughs> I was like, I, because it's a city university basically, whereas like the town is the university, which I just feel find weird. I don't want to do that. If I'm gonna go to college, I want to be on the campus basically um so i was between uh james madison george mason and christopher newport i liked christopher newport's campus i really did um and james madison was actually my top decision and i was i was approved i I, I did get in but the thing is, I would kind of thought about it because I was really torn between the three. I was really torn between three schools. Christopher Newport, James Madison, and George Mason. For me, at first, my ranking was James Madison number one, Christopher Newport number two, George Mason number three. But as I thought about it, I didn't want to go to James Madison because uh, when I had gone back to tour it, um, it was under construction and also um, it was also a lot bigger than I realized. Like sh- you would have to like shut around and everything. And I was like, eh, nah. Um, 
so I was really torn between Christopher Newport and George Mason. Those were my ultimately my final two decisions. My thought was that I know George Mason. I know a program that I can fall back on. And they have this thing called the computer game design uh, degree. So I can learn how to computer game design and get into the game industry there. Because there's also internships and everything in, in between. I was thinking, okay, I can do that. But then the thing is, was like, uh, there was also Christopher Newport, where it's like, I can go into computer science, can be a great, like I can do that. I ultimately decided to go with George Mason solely because of the computer game design program. Then, um, uh, that did not go well. That did not go well. Um, freshman, sophomore year, almost, uh, well, actually, no, sorry. It's more like freshman year, I almost failed. <laughs> Oh, actually, I like failed every class. Um, I was really nervous. In sophomore year, I had to retake. Um, I had to retake. Uh, what was it? What did I do? It was math, recalc. And I just like knew, like, okay, I'm barely getting through recalc. Not even really. Um, I'm not gonna make it through calculus or physics or anything that I would need Because I really just wanted to go through it like the story way, but it's okay So I was like, okay, this is not gonna work. I didn't really think about it. I didn't really think about it. I was like I can either try and stay on this path and potentially flunk out of college or I could fall back on my B plan B, which was English. I knew that I knew the program was good. I knew I enjoyed it. I knew I could get through it. I'm a good writer, everything in between. So I was like, okay. And I really thought of it because I could have gone for like one more semester or something like that. Could have gone for one more try at pre calc. And somehow managed to manage my way through, but I was also like really depressed as well, because I was like, well, no, well, not depressed. I was more like bummed, well, anxious actually. Um, I was thinking like, oh shit, like, because I was on probation. I was like, I was in like a, like a semester from failing and getting kicked out. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna reset. So I reset. And that year also wasn't like that. <laughs> but the, th the thing is, um, oh yeah, that's what I, I should say that this was split up into semesters. So really what I mean is like fall did not go well. Spring, um, that was when I was retaking the pre-calc. So by, I had to make my decision. And I ended up going switching because I already knew that it wasn't working out. Um, so I switched to English and during the summer I took some courses and then um, I was kind of back on track. I actually was kind of nervous that I'd be delayed, but I actually ended up getting back on track. I'm not going to lie, the pandemic a little bit helped me, just a little bit, uh, mainly because uh, because of the remote work, I was able to kind of just like reset my head and kind of like erase the first semester or whatever. I was like, okay, let's just get into it. Um, and also a lot of the classes ended up being like pass fail optional. So I used that for math. <laughs> like there was like a quantitative like reasoning I had to do. I used that. I use I use the like pass fail option when I thought like okay this is not gonna go well, so I just pass fail, and all I needed was like a C, so, and it wouldn't affect my GPA, so I was like okay let's do that. Anyways, long story short, I graduated college, um, twenty twenty 
pp and i thought i was done <laughs> i thought i was done but in 2023 i entered well sort of re-entered well i was kind of doing a lot of things i had the mindset like i wanted to get into marketing i want to get into brand marketing um and i'm kind of realizing that i kind of need a business degree because english while helpful is only like halfway helpful it's kind of like you need something else to kind of support the english degree not always but generally speaking Unless you want to get into teaching. That's a whole different ballgame. You know, there was, a, there was a time that I wanted to teach. Um, like, fifth grade. <laughs> and then I realized that teachers don't get paid. So, <laughs> um, no. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so, anyways. Uh, long story short, I graduated. Uh, but I was like, okay. I thought I was done, and then I was like, wait, how much does an MBA cost? Okay. Um, so, and then I got a job. I got a job for experience, retail. And I was like, mm. well, okay, actually, I actually started thinking about the MBA before I got that job. But I was like, I was doing something that didn't work out. And I was like, okay. Um, so I got, oh God. I started the MBA. And now my ambitions have kind of changed. Well, not changed, but it's more evolved. Like I now have a general idea of what I want to do for a living. Probably not what I actually had in mind. I don't know what I really want to do like brand marketing. I don't even know if my logic was like if i can't get into the gaming industry creatively i will get into it by doing something else <laughs> uh and applying to game jobs i don't think that this is exactly how that's gonna go but what, what i really need is just really just experience uh leading and managing a team and the best way to do it is through retail so that's what i was gonna do and that's what I'm sort of doing now. Um, I am currently finishing my MBA. And my goal is to get as much experience as I can. I want to move out as well. I want to be independent. Um, currently still at home. But I really want to move out. I think it's important for me as a person to get out of this house. But then I was also thinking, not only do I want to get out of this house, I kind of want to get out of the state. And that's a whole lot more complicated. Because all my life, I've lived in the same state. And I have never kind of known the outside world other than like vacations. And so now I'm really thinking about a, what state would I move to? B, how do I even go about doing so? And C, how would that affect my job prospects? Because obviously certain areas have a lot of jobs and certain areas don't. Um, I've actually kind of narrowed down sort of the, the, the possibilities and options. I'm still researching, I'm doing a lot of research. Um, I'm also kind of thinking, okay, what's more, setting my priorities. And so now here are my goals. I actually want to just lay it out, lay out my goals. I do want to move out by 2025. Um, that's not, like, I, I need to get out. So I want to go into an apartment somewhere around the area. So I'm going to do that for sure. That, that is like my number one goal to get out then I think I want to buy a car or work to getting a car nothing like fancy 
fancy or anything. Like, just something to use. So I don't have to rely on, I don't have to take like my parents' car or anything. Um, I just want my own car with my money um, to have. And then I want to think about moving states. Because I think it sounds like a lot, but it's more like in like the next like five years, this is what I want to do. So it's not like anytime soon. My logic is like, okay, 2025, I move out, just in general, not to another, not in the same state, I move out. <laughs> then I work my way up, still getting experience and everything, stay with the company that I am with right now. And then step two, um, what is step two again? Okay, so I move out. And then I get a car. Once I have the car, then I kind of work to move out of state. So that I, I basically, I work my way up to get a significant safety deposit and, and money, just in general, like just something secure. I look for a job in the area that I want to move to, which I have not decided yet. I'm kind of in between actually a few options I haven't really made this I don't have to make a decision anytime soon still weighing options I have ideas I have what I don't want to move to and I have what I kind of am considering moving to do you guys want to know should I say I don't know I mean because I'm not even there so um okay I'll, I'll rule out I'll tell you what I've ruled out okay don't want to move to Florida. Don't want to move to California. Don't want to move to Utah. Um, don't want to move to New York. Mainly because if I were to go to New York, I would go to like New York, New York, and that is really expensive to live in right now, and everyone's leaving anyways. Um, <laughs> I don't think I want to move to Massachusetts. I, yeah, I don't think so. Nope, not it. Um, I think what I am considering, Texas is one, mainly like the, the Houston or Austin area, I think. I have to do more research. Like, Idaho is on the list. I kind of am kind of... Mm, Idaho is on the list. South Carolina, I kind of, I'm in the middle because it's like, it's a nice state, but there's not really a lot of opportunities there. It's kind of more like a place where you go to retire, not a place where you go to live, like, and grow and everything. I'm sure there's people who grew up there, but, <laughs> like, to me, like, it doesn't seem like, like, if, I, if I'm going to a place, I want to do it where it's a place where there's a lot of opportunities and better in general you guys have recommendations i'm open to hear it because i've also been considering like ohio is the one that i've been consider considering especially like cincinnati area i don't want to live i don't want to do illinois i don't want to do like any like major city like major major city like the ones who are like really high crime i don't want to do that maybe once upon a time i did but not now i want to do like something not necessarily suburban, but like, I don't know, something like that. Not, not like super, f I don't want to do like a farm. I don't want to move to a farm. <laughs> so not, not really Pennsylvania. Unless it's like, mm, no, not really. No, not Pennsylvania. Um, I think, um, I heard Alabama is like, there's actually like a city there that like has a lot of opportunities as well, which I, I need to research more about. Um, I would say not Georgia. I don't think I want to move to Georgia. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm kind of still open. But there's some things that I've already ruled out. They just I just want, don't want to go to. Arizona is one of them, actually. I don't want to go to Arizona. I don't want to be in the middle of a desert. Well, I mean, to be fair, Texas is kind of a desert, too. 
but I don't know. I don't want to be in the middle of the desert because I feel like that's going to be absolutely miserable. <laughs> um, I don't want to go to Kansas. I don't even know what's in Kansas. I don't think I want to go there. No. Um, but there's there's still a lot on the on the list. Um, what I have decided is that I do want to move out of state. I don't want to go out of the country, just out of state. Um, see what's out there. Can I explore the world? Um, and from there, after that, once I'm settled, like once I'm really settled, I want to get like a pet, probably a dog and a cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. I don't give. I don't know if I'm doing any of that, but at least not right now. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I have no plans for that. I just want a small little animal family, um, and to kind of still keep growing and everything. Um, maybe meet people. Probably meet people. Anyways. That's kind of the, the goal, though. Just to start doing like adult things. Like, I, I feel like I really need to get out. And, and just do stuff. <laughs> That's also like why like I've kind of like stopped streaming. Because like I want to focus on my growth and my success. And my personal growth. And I feel like streaming is not going to do that. If I stream my entire life, I will... Like, die alone. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So, yeah. Anyways, that's kind of it. Um, I mean, I kind of have more to talk about, but it's fine. Um, I just wanted to kind of share my goals and everything and how everything has kind of changed. I also just really want to get out of the... Out of retail. I do want to get out of retail. I do want to get out of retail. I do need it to gain more experience, so I'm still here. I'm still gonna be in retail for like another like I don't know, probably like three years or so, four years, five years, maybe. <laughs> it kind of depends on like what ends up being the, the path to grow. And it's also probably gonna affect a little bit of like when I actually move. For me, like moving out twenty twenty five is like not negotiable. Like I, I just want to do it. But moving out of state, that that might be like twenty thirty or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll kind of see. I I need. I definitely need like certain experience before I do that. But <sighs> definitely a lot to think about. Adulting is. I like adulting. Well, sort of. I like just wanting to kind of like not. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, guys. It's been a blast. See you guys next time. Peace out, guys. Bye.